Hi everyone, one welcome back to the Bat Knitter. So this week we're going to go into kind of part two of how I go through my pattern making progress. So last week we went into actually designing the project on the computer um, using Excel. So again, if you guys know of any other programs to make patterns, let me know. Um, I want to try out more programs to see how they work and see if there's anything better than Excel right now. But Excel is a good tool. I like how it works and how it helps me program, especially something as visual as creating a pattern for a scarf. So the next step is obviously actually to start knitting. So what I did was I actually made the scarf. Ta -da! Now the pattern that I made is actually not set in stone at this point. It's more of a guideline. So that way I have something to go off to, but if I need to make changes, I can pretty obvious. But for instance, for this scarf, um, the H's, I realized that they were a little bit too skinny in terms of um, the actual each size of the H and in between. So I had to go back in and frog a little bit, go back a little bit to kind of undo it and I changed the pattern to make it and I added a row to each side of the H and also in between I actually added two rows I believe so that way they're a little bit bigger a little bit wider but also um, I made it much I like how it came out now it's adding the actual lines so it also made it a lot wider so it kind of doubled the pattern on each side for the scarf so it came out nicely usually after this point I would probably knit it up one more, uh, more one or two other times if I was actually going to write out this pattern to sell, for example, or distribute, just to make sure, probably in the second or third time, I would follow, it by follow the pattern word by word to see how if that's what I want with the pattern. So it's always good to go over the pattern a couple times, and my, my, some of my other patterns that I did, I actually had uh, one of my friends um, go over it and actually knit, out, knit it once or twice, and um, or at least look over it, and she actually found some mistakes that I did. So it's always good to have someone look over. But that's pretty much a quick overview of how I go through pattern making. It's just kind of um, a first computer-based um, pattern, and then I go through a physical one. So if you have any questions or comments, please let me know in the, down below, and I will do my best to answer them. And I will see you next week. Bye.